Bamberg team, they have the experience of 12 years of, of Champions Cup. Yeah, absolutely. And this is also one of the reasons we have, for example, I know there's some people of, from CSV March are watching now here. They told me, for example, we're going to the EuroLeague because we don't have the experience with the Champions Cup. Here and we go. The game. game starts. Uh, it's Turkey. Turkey, Turkey. in uh, white against yeah. Bamberg in blue. Yeah, that's it. And we're already on the, the Turkish, on the Bamberg side. Turkey is in ball possession. And uh, the forechecking, the known heavy forechecking attack from uh, Bamberg. And this will be difficult for the Turkish team to build up their attack pattern around the Bamberg basket because the forechecking of Bamberg is one of the best we know of. This is now a quite critical situation. You have the three throw immediately at the beginning. This is the situation where the Turkish team has a lot of brief. You can see here now players, number 10 is uh, taking the position. Seems to be Hakan is this guy, I assume, or? Yeah, number Hakan, 10. the captain. Is taking here, stealing the you goal, but the but uh, but Turkey so far is not really trying to come hard as usual. So maybe they they're probing. They think they're just testing now. What is Bamberg yeah. doing here? And maybe they they try to establish their dominance in the half of Bamberg, and then try to go in and find the weak spot. Be yeah, but, but they have to be Hakan. careful. You see Hakan on the open side. He's waiting to receive the pass. But so far, Lucas Tarar the at the crown as a defender. He has. Stolen the ball. And here Bamberg, Bamberg is, is in ball position. possession, going for the b yeah. Turkish basket. And this is what uh, will be interesting, how Bamberg is dealing with the physical defense of the Turkish. That's and uh, right now they didn't make it over the half, into the half of the Turkish team. And uh, this is interesting because Bamberg normally is uh, very cascaded inside the pool area. And now they made it into the, the corner of uh, the Turkish basket. And from there they start their attacks on the Turkish basket and try to go in. The team is now taking a breath on the surface mm -hmm. and then they build up still under attack from the forechecking from the Turkish team. So we have uh, Davre with us. So Bamberg is coming from the close side and they're pushing in, but I don't see this many uh, Bamberg players uh, necessary to break open the defense of the Turkish team from close. And here we are, the Tur the, the Bamberg player is yeah, on the open side and Manov pushing going to on the... Hoffman is having the big, very good... Oh, and the second goal. one, it's a goal Andy already. Andy Weissenberger put it finally in, so we had the Very well driver. done. The attack from above, giving the ball down to... But there was Brian no surprise. Hoffman. They attacked. The, the, the way they attacked is typical. Yeah, that's it. He immediately attacked the goalkeeper, and then he was supported by Andy Weissenberger with number 15, finally push the ball into the basket. This was a very nice team attack. But the way they attacked, the pattern they yeah. attacked is the typical uh, thing. There was one player playing on the open side. He received the ball and he pushed hard. And the second player came and then together they pushed yeah. the ball into the, the basket. So Turkey really have to step up now because we are in uh, the first three minutes yeah. of the first half. And if Amberg succeeds to score in this short time, Turkey really has to step up and uh, put more pressure on the uh, Bamberg basket. We have a cluster on the surface now. And uh, it's in the middle, a referee call from the surface. I Chief think referee it's very hard to defend Bamberg because as we have learned in the other games against Firenze and Vienna, they have a kind of a, of a template or uh, several, I think, several four templates. Th yeah. There are so four to five attacking measures, attacking patterns, gameplay. So first of all, for example, we see here now Sebastian Langer, the, the German national goalkeeper, now stealing the basket. Making and another goal! The three spot. Wow! Unbelievable! I have not expected that this 2 0 lead will occur that fast. We have not even played four minutes now. So, this was really, really amazing. As we remember last year, I think they, they, they both met two, and it was like decided in more or less in a penalty. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that game. And it was like, it probably was another combination of a uh, Turkish team or another team uh, combination we saw there. But this is dominance by Bamberg. This oh. is quite. Uh, uh, um, uh, they don't give uh, Turkey a big chance well to be is, into the game. Pardon me, but this is not Turkey. This is the Starfish. And uh, it's important to distinguish between the national team because it's not at all the national It's team. not a Turkish no, team, no, you no. mean? It's not a Turkish team. No, no. it's Turkish, but I mean, it's, a, it's the club's called the Starfish. Absolutely, it's a, absolutely it's a yeah, Champions Cup we have here, but yeah. it's a uh, Turkey playing. It's a Turkey, yeah, the Turkish team is club. Turkey. Yeah. yeah, of course. So the thing is now, uh, they have had a lot of trouble to, to get here. They have various uh, conflicts inside of Turkey, but they resolve, they have won the right to come here and represent Turkey as the national champions as a, as a club. 
and now it seems like they they don't have the strength to to match up with Bamberg. Will Bamberg now be very relaxed in the way they play, and that will seal the, this? I don't think so, because Bamberg, of course, they they try to play their game. They try to be to physical. Um, I once have called with uh, Lucas Tarin. He told me when we start to play weak and unconcentrated, this is rising. The, I don't. I don't mean unconcentrated. I mean that you that yeah, you, but you feel. You but if, if, you, if you stop, if you stop playing hard, they yeah. told me the, the 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 risk of getting injured is increasing significantly. Yes. So they will definitely put they will not uh, put down their effort to score here. No, Can no. we stay in the game uh, in the game, guys? Because uh, it, it, it's really nice to watch this game. We should stay more in the game and do more comments on the game and things we see here because it's uh, unfolding. The Bamberg is putting heavy pressure on the Turkish basket on the basket of the Turkish club. Tabriel, sorry, I will correct myself. And uh, they don't give a chance to the Turkish club uh, to get out of this uh, of the their their own defense perimeter. And now even the Bamberg player is taking the spot of the defense here. So. I'm, I'm looking at a dominating uh, Bamberg team in this game in the first half and they're already leading 2-0 and uh, the Turkish club doesn't seem to have a remedy to break free of this uh, Bamberg, of this German attack. It's a call from the referee. The referee called, yeah. Surface. And and, uh, they're, attacking the head. Oh, they're, they're pointing out the player, yeah, attack attacking to the, the head. head. I've seen it because Andy Weisenberger was attacked. He dropped the ball down but was still, uh, you know, touched at the Free head. Free throw against... Uh, so there's a free throw. Stolen goal from against yeah, Turkey. Hannes Hoffmann, you know, the captain is stealing the goal. And... Uh, you know, he left his position. It's difficult to see. The attack comes from the close side. It's heavy fighting now on the close side. Ball is free, recovered uh, by a uh, Bamberg player. And now they come in from the close Very side nice again. They are on both sides. Bamberg is on both sides of uh, the Turkish basket. Give and here comes the second the attack on the open off. side. Yeah. Very well defended. Uh, both attacks fended off. And now Bamberg uh, pulls out and comes back again. Oh. And from the top, above the Turkish pass, uh, uh, Goldie yeah. into the defense again. Call from, the referee. Is call from the referee. Maybe this, this looks like This is physical. This is a tough game. No, he's yes. calling one for attacking the head with a time penalty against Turkish team. So the Turkish team is now yes. playing with two minutes five for players. a Turkish player. This is a power play now for Bamberg. Bamberg is playing six against five for two minutes. And they start the game immediately. Now we see a Sebastian Lange now attacking, passing the ball. It's, in, it's incredible it's the intensity Bamberg goes here. into the game the here. Sebastian Lange is still. At the bottom, waiting for the pass. We have Lukas Stutter here with the number and four. Another and another penalty, penalty, penalty against uh, the Turkish club here. Uh, uh, so Bamberg has a chance to go for a 3-0, even uh, they are li already leading. It's fascinating um, how uh, the Turkish team is overrun uh, by the German play and uh, the Germans really are playing intense and it's physical and they know the Turkish team can play physical but here uh, Bamberg is uh, establishing their own dominance it's in the half of the, yeah. the Turkish team. They don't give them a chance to build Who's up their own game. Maybe the number, maybe it's number five, I think it's Clemens Neumüller. Um, and uh, no, this oh is no, number it's 12 it's uh, defending. No, no, wait, oh, the have, have, you, have you seen the number? It's number four, Lukas Tata, it's himself. So Lukas Tar is now making wow, it a very well oh. attacked and very well defended by the Turkish player. But uh, the the intensity the Germans yeah. put into the water, I haven't seen them playing like that for a long time. I'm not expecting a C zero after nine minutes of play. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm really amazed uh, with the speed and the intensity they put in the water here. And uh, interesting. I would love to see uh, tomorrow Bamberg uh, playing against the Orcas. But maybe we see this in the final, or is yeah, it Yeah, probably we do. Bam what Bamberg has been German national champions for... 12, 12 years, years, in a row. Yeah. So it's not amazing they win, it's predictable. Yeah, of course it's predictable, but the Turkish, they did a very nice... Uh, the, the Turkish team, they in the last two years, they, uh, they met Bamberg, and it was always quite close, very, yeah. very close. But you don't know the combination of players yeah, we have definitely. in the water here. Definitely. And again, uh, we are uh, still in the Turkish half, and uh, the Turkish tried to break free and punch through the forechecking defense of Bamberg. But the, this is the, where the field where Bamberg's probably the, the strongest uh, forechecking is really their uh, own uh, area of expertise. And we have a three throw against uh, Turkey again. 
And but this is a tough game for Turkey. I wouldn't have expected. Ten seconds, so, uh, ten after seconds the free left. Throw, then the uh, power play ended. Or? No, after the goal. After the goal. After they, they scored uh, already. Yeah, after yeah. The, the goal. So they scored they with the full, penalty they when, they, when Luca scored the penalty, the, the, the guy came back was over. Yeah. Nice. So now we have half time. It's a 3-0 lead. Wow. We have seen a goal by Andy Weisenberger, followed by who made the second one? Remember? Lu Lucas Tada was the second. No, no the, 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 the penalty uh, was uh, Lucas Tada. Uh, no. I don't, know. don't remember. Don't remember the second one, but we had at least. I can go to the of, yeah. score. We have seen a, a couple check. of very nice team attacks. So it started. If we summarize the game, it started with a ball possession with, from the Turkish club. They started to play around the Bamberg basket. From the moment they lost the ball, the entire game has taken has taken place in the so in the Turkish side of the field. And we've seen three goals in uh, ten minutes, and uh, one scored by a, by a penalty. Uh, which was made by uh, Lucas Tutter. After a shoulder in the basket. After a shoulder in the basket. It's, it's, I haven't seen uh, Bamberg playing with this intensity for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they haven't uh, have an opponent. When, when they played against Molde, it was, it was, it was a, s a little bit similar, but less like um, on one sided. Mm -hmm. um, here they, they really controlled the space around the Turkish uh, basket and put pressure on pressure again and uh, in a very physical way. But this is something you normally normally Bamberg plays more from the distance then go in but this day they pushed and pushed and pushed really close into the defense I'm impressed I'm impressed by the game of Bamberg uh, and I'm uh, well they really want to know who owns this pool and who owns the area around the basket maybe just uh, a couple of sentences for our uh, German uh, spectators so we have with uh, Bamberg gesehen in einer dominanten ersten Hälfte das Sehr Spiel dominant. wurde quasi am Anfang <laughs> die Türken beim Anschwimmen den Ball gewonnen haben den Druck erstmal versucht aufzubauen, erstmal ein bisschen zu spielen. Wir waren eigentlich, hatten erwartet, sie greifen direkt das Tor, das haben sie nicht gemacht. Wollten erstmal gucken, was geht, haben aber den Ball verloren und direkt mit dem Ballverlust es eigentlich nicht mehr geschafft, aus der eigenen Hälfte herauszukommen. Bamberg hat massiv gedrückt, erst mit einer Teamaktion über Hannes Treiber, Hannes Hoffmann, dann über Andi Weißenberger den Abschluss gefunden. Das zweite Tor, kann ich mich gar nicht mehr daran erinnern, aber wir hatten dann später in, in der dritten Situation einen Angriff auf den Kopf von Andi Weißenberger, der verwarnt wurde. Kurz darauf wurde nochmal auf den Kopf angegriffen. Ein türkischer Spieler bekam eine Zeitstrafe von zwei Minuten. Diese Zeitstrafe nutzten die Bamberger. Die äh, Türken hatten sich dann verkeilt im Korb. Den darauf resultierenden Strafwurf hat Lukas Tada zum 3-0 äh, verwandelt. Und so sind wir jetzt auch in die Halbzeit gegangen. 3-0 Führung für Bamberg hier im äh, quasi entscheidenden Gruppenspiel. Also hier geht es darum, wer wird Gruppensieger? gegen den Vertreter aus der Türkei. Und ich habe schon lange äh, nicht mehr Bamberg in der Intensität spielen sehen. So, jetzt bin ich gespannt, was Sie in der zweiten Hälfte hier ins Wasser bringen. Wenn wir bitte ein Bild sehen würden von Unterwasser aus dem Spiel. Wir haben gerade nur ein Oberflächenbild und da kriegt man nicht viel mit äh, von dem Spiel, was im Wasser abgeht. Bildregie bitte, Bildregie, Bild unter Wasser bitte. Bildregie, Bild unter Wasser bitte. The guys uh, in the... In the, in the uh, Uh, here we go, we are back in the water, and this is Turkey attacking now uh, the Bamba basket, called from the referee, and uh, we're on the surface again, the referee is going up on the surface, giving a warning, it's a free throw against Turkey, free throw against Turkey, and uh, always a good chance, especially for Bamba with the intensity they play, to duck in into the um, defense area of Turkey here. Do you know if there were any substitutions at halftime? No, nope. not sure. Unfortunately, not. I'll, I'll go and check. Yeah. So again, uh, this is again Bamberg pushing and already waiting next yeah. to the basket. Lucas Tata here. And, and it's Clemens that typical. It's, it's trying it's to giving the pass, but it was the Turkish team did this quite well. They um, they stopped the ball. They didn't let the ball go through the defender position. Because this was a very, even again, a very dangerous situation for the Turkish team. Clemens Neumüller with the number five tried to pass the ball through to Lukas Tarder, who was at the open side here. Then we see with number 15, Andreas Weisenberger. And uh, Hannes Hoffmann here, the captain with the, with the captain uh, wristband here, or with the armband. 
So now the, the Turkish team really tries to get into okay. the, the air ball in the, the, da the dangerous uh, area around uh, the Bamberg basket. But uh, Bamberg does such a good forechecking job and they, they don't get very close. They're stopped uh, s two to three meters away from the Bamberg basket, from the defense and are pushed away, hold away, even though Bamberg does not seem to be able to get hold of the ball and strip the ball out of the hands of the Turkish player. Uh, still, the ball is in possession uh, of the Turkish, but they cannot get close. Now, this is a first attack, first and uh, the, the, the Turkish have dug in around the Bamberg basket. Ball is loose, but Bamberg but does a very good job. The, yeah. the crown position, so the Turkish team, when they have a chance, they try to, to attack the goalkeeper immediately. Usually we are used to see uh, a Turkish club attacking from the bottom. This is maybe maybe they're struggling too much to to get or they have too much respect from the from the Bamberg defenders and they thought it will be easier to attack the goalkeeper. And it's um, so effective what Bamberg does. But um, but it doesn't bring the the, the success the Turkish team is uh, trying to occur. So here Niklas Tadar trying to attack number 14 Ilka, and uh, now there's a free spot. But immediately the, the Bamberg is in position, attacking with two players. Hannes Treiber here, obviously playing forward, usually he's playing a, a goalkeeper position. It's incredible to see how hard it is for the Turkish players to get close, uh, any closer to the basket. They're fended off, deflected really from the forechecking and the forechecking defense of the Bamberg team. And here, one attack again. Very two well, players yeah. going in, very nice attack. The one player waiting on the open side. He didn't see the ball, no, and it, it just uh, here on the yeah, he didn't side. see it. Driver, ball just fall clinch. down on the side. Clinch with uh, with the Turkish player, but at least now the Turkish team or the, the Turkish club has here now a real proper chance to score because they're the pressure they're bringing now. The Bamberg goal is is almost it's more longer than a minute. So they 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 made it now to to uh, keep their team and their and the ball closer to the basket what they did not even in the entire first half of the game now Turkey is still in ball possession they do very well here because Bamberg is intercepting and don't let them through but they don't succeed in stripping the ball uh, out of the Turkish arms yeah. and this is this is quite a feature because this is the 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 the, the, the thing the Bamberg uh, team really knows how to do and if now they have it so now they have yeah, the ball really out of the really Turkish good. arms I think the Turkish they did good with this race, but I think the the, the passes back uh, they were too long. So when they when they passed back, they were almost at the second line we see here at the bottom. So this is was too far away, so far away that the goalkeeper could really go into the the four yeah, checking. Yeah, and still uh, and this interact. Is why they, they, they lose, they've lost the ball. So totally they need true. to be between the first and the second line, very very close to the f defender, uh, trying almost touching the or able to to touch the defender. And now we see on the other side, now Bamberg here with the first uh, significant attack you can say in the second half. And now it's, he's completely empty. Whoa, three Bamberg players going in. Unbelievable. How, and why are they doing this? I, I don't understand. They're playing so good. And now from one minute to another, there's just a goalkeeper left, completely alone. Yeah, because they were attacking so yeah. much and probably the, the team was not changing to keep up the pressure. And now they come back and they think they can change and Bamberg uses this to th throw in three players and to score. It looks so easy. It looks, it so, looks easy. so easy. No, it isn't. There's a lot of, a lot of individual isn't. very good playing, like if an attacker or a bomber player is having the ball being attacked by two Turkish or maybe even three players. If they can, keeping the ball, it's, it's really the next couple of seconds are very, very dangerous. And this is a team has to has to take this into account. If I try to put the ball and then bring two or three players through the ball you need to be sure that you get this one other side is of course like a situation and it's the other side now perfect yeah but this it, it looked it chance. looked like a good yeah. chance but still Bamberg but was so have, fast no, no, on the spot a, a, a player st stole the basket was was also very good not long enough but Second now wave. now yeah yeah this is well, a good one for the blind pass down ball also popped out uh, ah. but was not seen by the player for a second and called from the referee yes holding without ball probably yeah, pushing don't see the sign. It doesn't show any any position. I don't know what he's saying. The, oh, there's the, a referee the referee's up. up uh, there's a time for, for, for Bamberg. Bamberg. Whoa. It looks like Gesa Todd, your goalkeeper now here, receiving a time penalty. 
um, maybe for for a rough game or something like that or for kicking I'm not really sure what it is but usually when a goalkeeper is making a foul it's a penalty but in this case it was obviously not a shoulder maybe it was just really making any any uh, dangerous situation and we have a timeout I guess yeah. from uh, Bamberg and they really have to uh, uh, reorganize now no. because this will be uh, and we see in Turkish team going in with a lot of push and this will be their chance now to to really push in and we have uh, the team captains coming to the referees looks a little bit like uh, the Turkish team captain is complaining uh, we don't we don't have sound from uh, the pool area we had it in the beginning but it's gone now now we have the uh, number 12 who's not the caption actually because the captain is number 10 I don't know why number 12 is starting to discuss with the referees because at least it's not his uh, position so the timeout is over team is coming back in the waters so we have Sebastian Lange here now at the goal position it's and now five bumper oh players Andy against Weisenberg. six. He got the ball immediately. This is crazy, you know. He stopped the, the, the free throw yeah. immediately. Immediately he, he, he caught the ball. So this is now even the, the time penalty is running two minutes. But now it's free already free against Turkey. for Bamberg. So they Amazing. They just not even this first pass was successful for the Turkish team and now it is just two and a half minutes players, left just with five players we see Nussi here received the pass by Andy we see here another Bamberg player here having the ball now the Turkish Bamberg team plays is with one player yeah. less and is in attack it's uh, quite a feature and it tells you, you something Weisenberg about the team now passing the ball to Lukas Tatar who's sitting there downstairs passing back we see Nussi here now this guy with the tater at the foot at the leg and the Turkish team it's not really motivated here to get a ball. No, it exactly. doesn't look like. It and and Bambak really is, is, is holding the ball. The, yeah. the time is working in their favor. If they Now they attack, but they just keep the ball yeah. in the game yeah. and under control. You see here Lukas Tadar passing the ball back to... Oh, we cannot see this guy. Maybe it's one of the Hoffman brothers. So we have Sebastian Lange now. And even there's a free spot and they have a chance to score now with just Whoa. five players. Oh, this is what's close. Unbelievable. But the 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 Turkish team really have to throw in everything they got yeah. to fend this uh, uh, attack off. So we see Lukas Tadar with the number four, keeping the ball close to the basket. Is another one. Here was a great pass by oh Andy up to Sebastian and, Lange and they scored. This is amazing, really. With uh, one player less, yes. they scored against the Turkish team, and this is a sign. This, this is, is sign. Uh, this, this is, is really the the Bamberg Definitely. tell the Turkish now we can even score with five players. Yeah, even with five uh, players, if you put a lot of this hurts. enough pressure inside. This wow. is incredible. Pretty impressive. Um, we don't have a time uh, display now, but I think it's something about five yeah. minutes, four minutes left. As you Probably know, Bamberg is still with five players in the water because they, they scored, but they sc you know, the Turkish team scored. What would be uh, the reason for replacement? It was the uh, Turkish, uh, the, the, the Bamberg team scoring with one player less in the water. And the referees are on the surface again, the referee on the close side. And it's a free throw against uh, Bamberg, and the Turkish team tries to. Uh, now we've seen Hatan here, the player, the captain of the Turkish team, now is stealing the defender position. He's waiting for some any of his player passing in the ball, but no one was coming. So we see here now. Oh, oh, go! No, 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 no. It was a favorite free throw. The referee has shown already the uh, the free throw position. Maybe there's a next time penalty. Really? That was interesting. There's Didn't a get next what happened player there. needs to go on the, on the uh, penalty bench. Oops. So we have another one. This is, it looks like Hoffman. Maybe it's yeah, Jan Han Hoffman or Veit Hoffman. I'm, I cannot see it, but it must be one of the Hoffman brothers. But we have uh, 20 seconds left in the second yeah. half. So th nothing uh, serious will happen. Uh, within these 20 seconds, but uh, two time penalties for Bamberg in this, this game. This is unusual normally. I don't remember the last time when Bamberg got two time penalties. And here we go. Uh, Turkey is coming in massively now Not on the chance. basket of uh, Bamberg. It's their last attack. Eight seconds left. It's the last chance, last attack to score oh here. And one now one there's a big Sebastian rush Horn on the basket the of, the Bamberg play of the Bamberg player. Oh, and a goal! Scored. At least they scored I in the last second. I'm not really sure. 
Maybe there was a penalty or score, but the game is or over. Or the game was over the before game is it was over. Uh, I'm a not score. Really sure. Now they're going to the surface for discussion. The score was so for 5 0 for Bamberg. At least, even if it's a score or a penalty, it will not change the, the win, the victory of Bamberg. But the question will be does this count? No, no, the, the, no, the game is over. Look, the yeah, the game is over. I think it the game was even over before the, yeah. for the goal. What uh, was the score uh, altogether? 5 0 right now. I don't know if they give this goal or not. I'm not sure this is what we need to find out, but so far it's just 5 0. So we have 241 uh, visitors in the live stream, still in the live stream. And, um, but you know, just to remember, this was a completely dominated game by Bamberg. But at the end, now, the Turkish team really showed up what they can do. They really put a lot of effort in, and you know, you have a lot of teams. They never had the chance to, to get in a scoring position against Bamberg. And Turkish, the Turkish team did it. It was at the end of the game, and the game was almost yeah, over and decided, but at least they did. But it was an amazing game from Bamberg. Yeah. Uh, uh, the intensity they played in the yeah. first half was just uh, crushing. They really they really somehow crushed the, the Turkish defense and the offense was non-existent. Okay, so it's, it's five a 5-1. Five, five five Congratulations one. to Turkey. Uh, amazing game from them uh, to withstand uh, Bamberg and only receive five goals. And I'm not saying this ironically, five because um, the 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 gameplay by Bamberg was really amazing was fascinating so ladies and gentlemen this was the last game of the day yes. and uh, tomorrow we start at 8 uh, we don't eight have a in the morning we don't have a time uh, table and a printout yet so I don't really know which team will start in the morning but you can uh, maybe uh, switch the computer already off <laughs> can check it on nevertheless uh, tomorrow morning we will hear each other at uh, 8 o'clock and uh, Torsten, what are you going to do now? Right now, I'm enjoying my evening because uh, this was a very intensive day. We had a lot of uh, games, very, at least uh, the usually the first day of the Champions Cup. We have, we, w this is when uh, unequal team meet each other. Yes. So from tomorrow, we will have a bit more selection. So you have now more balance. Yeah, balance. You have winning teams playing against winning teams and, of course, l losing teams playing against losing teams and so the games tomorrow will be much more equal so i'm really looking forward to seeing the match tomorrow do you think you talked a lot today definitely <laughs> but that's why i'm here <laughs> that's why you asked me to come to berlin <laughs> <laughs> was it more than the usual talking you do nah, normally. not really yeah no, no, normally, normally you don't have a microphone all the time y usually i'm talking with myself this time i have a big audience here so it's quite nice <laughs> i really enjoyed it yeah i really enjoyed it too Thorsten. Uh, thank you very much uh, and yeah. thank you very much for the rest of the team uh, Davrell is gone already. He uh, uh, wanted to look for the substitutions, but he never came back. He <laughs> never came back. Maybe in the tomorrow. I and hope he's uh, here tomorrow again. Also, a big thank to Lorena. And uh, tomorrow we will have uh, Jörg Ertl here uh, yeah. doing uh, the commentating. And Thomas Denk and uh, Jan Kindermann from the Austrian team will do some cool, yeah. uh, commentating when they have time and they are not playing. So um, tomorrow will be an intense day two. And, uh, two and we have the Sunday uh, 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 also with the finals then um, with two times 50 minutes so thank you very much everybody we will uh, go home now and recover from uh, this not much speaking yeah anything you want to add Torsten come on come on. there's something left in you give it <laughs> to me give it to me come on come on <laughs> look forward to tomorrow to tomorrow and uh, let the best team win <laughs> oh that's that was so poetic and I love it's your poetic. voice you have such a sexy <laughs> voice right now I hope the teams are dreaming big. <laughs> thank you very much, Lorena, for the commentating. Oh yeah, yeah. I would love to thank uh, Davrel too, but he's uh, he I was don't know where he, is. he was gone uh, with in between the games, and he's gone now too. I want I just want the last thing to say. Maybe if ah, you have here we any go. Here if we you go. have any ideas, um, just you can mention everything you want in the live chat. You know, we're reading the live chat beside of the games, and um, please also uh, check out our Instagram page. You know, we have people here Facebook and Facebook they're putting a lot of effort to bring a lot of content insights behind the scenes picture from stories the competition, stories you can see all the scores even at the, at the story on Instagram and Facebook so please don't hesitate to add uh, to follow our groups and um, even give us some some ideas what you want like to see or what like to hear 
And uh, yeah, and please uh, watch the games tomorrow. Yep. Thank you very much uh, for being here. Thank you much, Thorsten. It was a pleasure. See you tomorrow, everybody.